I feel interested and always excited. Right. You always can find something different, something new, something you can do more, and uh, that's a still that's a fits a human, mm. as a human being, mm. because the music always talk about some emotion mm. from the language you can't t right. say it, right. and you only can feel it. Right. So that's a secret of, uh, I think, part of music, and uh, especially like uh, Chopin's music. It's 200 years past from Is he, Would uh, he be your favorite composer to play? I think after 10 years and uh, the Chopin is like in my blood, it's grow, growing. Mm -hmm. Even in these 10 years, like even I, I love and also I played many, many different type of composer, mm -hmm. like of Liszt or uh -huh. Prokofiev and uh, Mozart, mm. Ravel. So I mean, he's also a great composer, but mm -hmm. Chopin. Me, after 10 years, like now, I feel different. Hmm. I feel it's uh, even more, i getting more closer to Chopin. Huh. And especially when I play in concert, uh, I feel myself, it's, uh, it's even more easier, more natural to feel what Chopin wants to share. And also his music, he just, uh, not, I, of course, I'm, I know his own music at this moment. Right. And uh, every piece, maybe, each year, the feelings a little, a bit, a little bit change mm. compared to now this generation's information from new right. technology and uh, you know new media everything. So we are living in a different world now. It's 200 years. Chopin cannot imagine now what happened in the world, but we just uh, want to memory or just to want to come back to the history mm -hmm. when Chopin's year. He brings uh, especially the most important part of uh, as a human being's emotion. Especially like uh, a very love, raw emotion, love countries right? and right. Um, it's uh, just as a person, very basic person emotion. yeah, the basic emotion as a human being. Um, but you've also had many other collaborations with quite, you know, mm -hmm. quite a few famous composers <laughs> and, and entertainers. Yes. Um, you know, there's one with Japanese Seiji Ozawa. Mm. Can you tell me a little bit about that one? Uh, he's a great maestro. I think mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Chinese and the world people know. Him very well. His con his conducting style, very energy. Right. It's always uh, a lot of passion, like himself. Very as, active there. Yeah, yeah. As what I s I saw him. I'm the friend of, of him. Also, he's quite of my musical mentor. Of me. Right. I heard and he sought you out. He wanted to work with you. And I think both. And we had this harmony. You know, the mm. the artistic. We are really very happy. And we meet each other, and we immediately want to, you know, cooperate. And and the stage in in two thousand six invited me to Japan, working with his orchestra, okay. and we played. We we had a big, big, big fun there actually. And we continue our relationship, and to you know, and after we had a big cooperate with the Berlin Philharmonic, mm, and okay. uh, we made a memorable recording with Prokofiev. What I choose uh, especially. Repertoire. It's not Chopin. Prokofiev. That time, I really want to play that piece. Mm. It's my challenge. All right. Well, let's watch the two of you working together <laughs> in this video clip. Yes. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. I think I will just. I think a little bit. I think time. Yeah, because otherwise yeah. maybe yeah. I cannot hear. Try from here. Yeah, uh, from here. Yeah. Dum bum. Okay. Dum bum. Yeah. Yeah. One. Bang. I mean, there's so much energy there. Both of you are so focused, and it's as if you guys are in sync. Mm -hmm. Completely mm -hmm. in sync. I mm -hmm. mean, your movements were similar mm -hmm. and so complementary. Yeah, that, you know, that's how interesting working with a conductor mm -hmm. and conductor. a cooperator, and especially right. you, each other both know what you want. Mm. 
and uh, you are in the same track, in right. the same boat. You are making the music together. Right, right. <laughs> That's and so, so great. And it's the perfect, perfect match. Yeah. You know, you've worked with a bunch of other very successful people, and one of the more recent, more interesting matches, you know, again, something complimentary, has been your collaboration with a very famous Chinese pop singer, and everybody knows who that is. <laughs> uh, that's Jay Chow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, both of you are young, you're handsome, mm -hmm. handsome men. What was it like working with him? It must have been very different from working with Ozawa. Oh, yes. Uh, this makes me, you know, in the, in the group of this, this generation. Why? Because right. this, this is a now music. I'm playing, let's say, what I love, my, you know, my profession, mm -hmm. and also and the, my most enjoyable for playing. It's right. classical music. Right. It's a uh, hundred years ago's music. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, you know very serious. Right. It's, it's a serious culture, but pop music, it's like generation mm. now, and the, this music also it's very important for our life. Do you it's, listen to pop music usually? Yes. yes. Okay. But not much. But okay. just by chance, just take it easy, natural. Mm. Then sometimes I I want to relax. Also, we want to listen some, you know, like change the channel mm. to a different way. But because I'm just a listener, it's not, a, you know, it's not like a, I listen classical music. I immediately will get into, and right. it's like my profession. Right, right. It's, it's, a, it's a different way. So sure. this kind of cooperation and also is a is a great person, Jay Chou, mm. and uh, we meet and uh, we feel we had, uh, you know, good communication as a friend. I mean, you must have had a lot of fun together. Oh yes, we had uh, some small cooperation, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, he's a good, a good playing. I think I, actually, it's, it, it's, it's great, and he had, uh, I think he had uh, quite genius talent for his his work. Right. Okay. Well, let's hear Jay Chow's side of the story. What it was like cooperating with Li Yundi. Okay. Let's take a look. 自己都想不到可以跟他一起在舞台上弹钢琴。那他是世界级的。啊，钢琴家，嗯，我觉得希望把他的这个古典，啊，让更多的歌迷朋友啊，听流行音乐的，也可以都也可以感染这种古典的音乐气息。The other thing that I just love is, is the, the outfits, you know, like you, the wardrobe, you're wearing white, playing on a black mm -hmm. piano. He mm -hmm. was playing, you know, wearing yes. black and playing yes. on a white piano. That yeah. aesthetic just worked. <laughs> and I think it suited your personalities, too. Yeah. You know, Jay Chow is always kind of like mm -hmm. the bad guy and, no. you know, you're, uh, or the, he, and you're, you know, no, refined. He's a, and he's a very, I would say, fancy and very modern. Right. It's a, the contemporary. It's a yeah. kind of a very fashion, fashionable right. person. Right. And I'm just like... Uh, 
it's like a classic. <laughs> right, and, uh, very pure. Yeah, very, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it was a ton of fun. Yeah, but it's a good memory for me, and, uh, and I think also makes me feel the different, you know, different worlds. Sure. You're, of course, one of the most famous Chinese pianists these days, and, but you share that, I guess you share that name with another famous pianist, and his mm -hmm. name is Lang Lang. Mm -hmm. How do you, a lot of people will call you rivals. How do you view that rivalry? Uh, for me, I, I really think uh, it's because China now growing so quick, and mm -hmm. we are generation, we are time is in the great, great time. So, and I think uh, it's a, it's a challenge for a, even not me mm -hmm. and Lang Lang. I think it's either have Chen Sha or mm -hmm. have a Yu uh, Jia Wang. They're right. all the great, I think, pianists. Okay. I think that all can bring us to make our country proud. Mm -hmm. And for myself, it's very proud. There are so many great pianists. So in my area, to say that happened, and uh, even playing in the war stage, and especially to like Carnegie Hall or London, right. and so many, you know, Asian and Chinese face there, and uh, it means we are really growing, develop since sure. since past 50 years, I think. Right and the China is growing. You, so. You're giving me a very diplomatic <laughs> answer. Um, you know, it, but you know, when it comes down to you and Lang Lang, you were uh -huh. born the same year in yes, 1982. That's right. That's right. Um, you're both you know, young, handsome men from China, mm -hmm. both 28 years old. Mm -hmm. So you know, is there competition? Do you feel I, competition with I think it? The, yeah, I don't think it's a competition. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's uh, for the musician. Everybody looking at the great performance. Right. Everybody wants to see the good artist, even myself, it's my mm -hmm. profession. Like I hear some good music, hear the performance like Horowitz or mm -hmm. Rubinstein, I still admire. Mm -hmm. But also I'm looking for what I can do, my right. best, what I can do, uh, what I, you know, I can share with the audience. Right. So it's a, it's a, for me it's a kind of different angle and view and I like to, to hear the great performance enjoy it to hear the good music mm. whatever do you enjoy listening it? to his music i haven't listened to his live concert but mm. i think uh, in the future i think i, I hope I have a challenge mm. and a chance to to hear it so maybe one day the two of you mm. can play a concert together i'm very looking forward to play with lang and to share this uh, i think is a great idea and mm. because i think it's good for our country because right. to bring the i think at this moment we can bring the best uh, you know, the performance for the world. Like, in my mind, I think we can be better than three tenors. Hmm. Ooh, <laughs> wow, that's it. <laughs> Do you think so? I think so. At you this know, moment. Yeah, at this moment, for from sure. From Asia and from China. Yeah, you could, the two of you with Chen Sha <laughs> yeah, yeah. and with some of the other musical greats. <laughs> that's right, it would that's be, right. And, and you'd be a much younger, you know, uh, it's group different. than the three we, tenors. For my idea, I only think this uh, how to be sure the best way mm -hmm. To China. So I know recently you also wrote a biography. What mm -hmm. sort of message were you trying to tell? I, for myself, I just want to share my experience, my growing up, this kind of message for the people mm -hmm. to let him to inspire what they can get information from my growing. But I, of course, everybody growing is different. I just want to share that part. It's a memory. It's a kind of history for them. Thank you so much, Yundi, for being here with us today and sharing us your stories. I know our viewers really enjoyed it. Thank you to our viewers at home for tuning in with us today. We'll see you next weekend on this weekend edition of Crossover. I'm Yishu in Beijing, and see you next week.